surprised that other people. Oh wow! Oh no way! Come back. Take a look at this. Keep looking. Hey, look at this thing. Oh! Oh wow! Oh cool. Take a look at this. Alright everybody, we're back with the $125 unit that I bought, and man, just got the piano loaded up, we got tons of boxes still to go, so far we found all kind of collectibles, antiques, vintage toys, all kind of cool stuff, man, so it just keeps going and going, look at all those boxes, just a sea of boxes to go, once again $125, you got the manpower, the resources, place to put it, and a way to sell it, you can make money. But if not, you're going to have lots of stuff. <laughs> Some more! Start right here. This box is interesting. So, looks like it's just some uh, flea market tag sale stuff, make an offer. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's it's a little nice. bar theme there. Man cave, woman cave, she shed, whatever you want. Get it out of here. Nice. That's a Hubley right there. That's an old, old truck. All four wheels are intact right there. Hubley. Kitty Toys. I knew it was a Hubley just because of that mark on the side there. It says Hubley. Overall, it's in pretty good shape. This part sometimes missing. It does have a dent here. It has the back end. It's missing the tailgate. Uh, but the original paint, not too faded. It's scratched up. So, it's a good toy. And man, this gets me excited because who knows what else we're going to find in here. Ho, 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 Santa Claus, he's bringing me toys, boys and girls. Yes, he is. Oh, wow. I don't know, I'm getting excited here. I'm getting excited, I'm trying to figure out what these are. Oh, take a look. Okay. Some folk art. We got this, I bet you it's Raggedy Ann and Andy, maybe. Let's take a look. Yeah. So that's made out of wood. Oh, his bow tie's a little bro busted. We got Raggedy Ann and Andy. Take a look at those two. Wave and hello. So, we got his other hand here. It can be fixed. Oh, man, who knows? I mean, this is just such a. Look at this thing. Oh. TJ Maxx, $14.99 piece. It's cracked anyway. So, that is garbage. A big crack in there. Way worse, ladies and gentlemen. It's already cracked. Worthless all over this little nautical little wheel ship. Man, it just keeps going. I mean, they said every box we touch has money in it, and that's what I love when I get a unit. Oh, wow. Look at that old little piece. So, silver plate, I'm sure. It's probably silver on copper, but. Yeah, who knows? Oh, street light. Just keep standing up, standing up. What do you think, Mike? And Mike? Pretty good unit so far. I like it. Oh. We got this right here. And, uh,. I don't have my knife on it. I'll have to go grab one. Whew. I hate, I love peanuts, but I hate peanuts. <laughs> but usually if it's packed with peanuts, that means it's probably something that's worth money. So why would you pack it with peanuts if it wasn't worth money, right? But they usually get everywhere. It's really tough to get the stuff out of it without getting peanuts everywhere. We got one, oh, looks like it's the top of an oil lamp, or some kind of lamp. There it is right down there. So it's a, so this is called milk glass, and this design here is candle wick design. So, looks like we got a candle wick, milk glass, light, the shade, everything else, right there in the bottom. 
So once again, one hundred twenty-five dollars for the unit. And there's your boxes. Boxes. This one says cups. So this is that that wood bowls and who knows what else is in here. You got the little drip cups there. Looks like he's got a lid. This whole thing's a silk. Down here looks like some kind of new candlesticks or something. Salt and Pepper Royal Limited Silver Plate Edition. You got brand new stuff mixed in. Just keeps going and going and going. Man, look at these. I didn't take them. Look, we got right here. These are nice pole sticks right here. Warp resistant. Shoe back. Has some guy's name on there. I'm sure he's a famous pool player. See these? These are weighted pool sticks right here. You can add more weights to them, I know. So, four nice pool sticks right there. But if you got five bucks a piece, that's $20. Oh, oh, take a look. Oh. Got another pool stick right there. So, this keeps adding up. You got the glass for the tables. And man. Who knows what else we're going to find? What is this? Oh man. It's a bowl set. It's got all these bowls. It looks like the bowls hang on top of this wood piece here. So that's nice. Nice, nice. It just keeps going and going and going. It's metal, Bradford Exchange, looks like a collector plate right here. Nice. So this is the second one we found. We found another one of these, so they might have a whole set. And then, I mean, who really knows what's going to be all wrapped up in here. I'm assuming some kind of piece of glass is going to go inside this piece of metal here. Somebody art. A box inside a box. Very light, it's all wrapped up. Try fragile. Can't win them all, ladies and gentlemen. Can't win them all. So who knows what else is in here? I have to look at another thing. Though. And then you have this in there. So right there, it's marked Portugal. But who knows? These people are collecting glass, antiques, all kinds of things. Good eight minutes. Okay, man. Let's keep going. Oh, there's another high box up here. Oh, oh. oh yeah. Looks like we're having sandwiches tomorrow. Once again, it looks like this is going to be brand new stuff in here. They probably got it, never used it. We got a little meat slicer right there. We got the Toastmaster. A little musical box. So, stuff's adding up once again. Box after box, everything we touch, there's money, money, money. So who knows what else we're going to find. We'll keep digging through this. We gotta throw some stuff on the truck, make some space, and see what else we can find. All right, so we removed the one dresser, but we're gonna take a look right here. This is the box, real quick. Let's see what's in this box. Oh, come close, Mike. I need that light. All right, so we got some uh, little McDonald's toys here, Indian's hat, bunch of Tchotchke stuff, sweetheart toilet soap. Aww. Maybe I should give it to my sweetheart. 
probably throw back in it. Okay, so we got some old little pins down here. A few paper, nothing looks too good. Lance Pin Kings. It sounds like there's pins in here. I hate to open this. This could get really dangerous. It says 10 grosses of pins. Look at safety pins. Whole thing full, brand new. Oh, wow. What's that? I just saw something gold. It's like an old key there. Some pins and buttons. Oh, man. Look at all these old stirrers right there. Stir sticks. Every place used to have their own. But who knows, man? Woo! Got some little spoons here. Oh, they look like baby spoons. I was hoping they were silver. Sometimes they'd have old silver baby spoons. There's a game on the bottom down here. A little puzzle here. So. Who knows what we're going to find? Interesting little box here. And then the other thing is, let's take a look real quick, see if there's anything in this dresser drawers here. Oh, oh man, it's heavy. There's got to be something in here, too. Come on, come on. Let's see. All right. One, two. Uh-oh. It's locked. So much stuff in there. Let's see a different drawer. One, two. Oh! oh. Up the wazoo. Maybe they filled it with money, you know. <laughs> but I see some bunch of these, and then here's your Spider Man. Let's take a look at this drink. Oh! So it looks like we got some uh, Eddie and the Cruisers. Halloween on the Rated Director's Cut. So we got VHS tapes. A few, a few DVDs, and then we got some CDs in here. So who knows? Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It must be a game. James Brown's greatest hits. Ha, ha. I assume, I shouldn't assume, but oh yeah, it's VHS tapes up here, ladies and gentlemen. So looks like we got a whole thing full of VHS tapes. And man, who knows? Take a look at this box here. Oh. Shoes. Gonna get those. Shoes, shoes, shoes. Oh. Ooh, what's this? I see some barrels in here. Looks like we got a brand new Barbie, twirling ballerina Barbie. Look, 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 look. Another brand new Barbie. Another ballerina Barbie. Oh, tons of Barbies down there. Might be some vintage ones in there. Let's we'll take a look. Oh, no way! Let's take a look. It says Halloween Pezzes. We got skulls and ghosts. Right, which is if I can open up pumpkin, the ghost, the witch. Looks like we got a whole set in here. So we got Barbie stuff, Pezzes, finding toys. Who knows what else we can find? It's been a great unit so far. Oh, this one's all taped up. It says glass ones to come back to that box. Guinness World Record game. Oh, look at this doll. Wow, she looks old. She looks really old. So, on a Barbie doll, if you look back here on the butt, it'll be marked. And I don't think this is a Barbie doll. So now, another part to do is look in the back of the head here. It says something, I can barely make it out. Let's see on the back. Open this up. There it is. 1962. Wow. Anita. So that's an old doll right there. Could be worth some good money right here. Who knows? 
checkers. Got some other old games. A lighting product. That's a ballast for a lighting fixture. <laughs> Cooking some fish up. Brand new little cooker. So. Man, who knows? Yeah, they cool down though. This box right here. Oh wow! No way! Oh, it's not in there. That was a little microscope. So we got a little Top Gun movie on top here. More VHS. Best of eight, football follies. Oh, cool, cool. Ooh. See this old corn cob pipe right here. Some corn cob pipes can be worth money. Last of the Moon. I worked for a catering company called Last of the Moon in Florida. That's pretty cool. So, I thought it was going to be a little bit better. It's not a jewelry box and the corn tap pipe, but. There might be something else hidden in there. LED light plugs them in, brand new. What's the candy or something? Ooh, soft mint candy. Everything else in here looks like garbage. So we got a little garbage box going. Got a couple good things out of it. There's just so much stuff, it's like, where to go? Oh, oh man, no way! Look this ram, it's not broken. Virginia Maxwell, 1978. So cool piece right there. So I just covered a few of these boxes here. Take a look, this one here. Interesting box. It says family we the shelves. So let's see what they had on their family room shelves. Just a little piece of metal here. Nice little can of chicken pan. Full of smoke. Take a look at this. Man. Little piece of pottery here. It's marked on the bottom sign. Tough to make out. This will be a nice piece. Gonna be some kind of light. I'm assuming the rest of it's gonna be in here. This is probably another piece. Oh wow! Oh no way! Come back. Take a look at this. Right there. No wonder why it's so heavy. Dude, it's filled. Nice to have some silver coins in there. It's filled with money. Look at. Look at. There's quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies, filled. So first of all, it's a reproduction. I could tell as soon as I picked it up, but the weight first I thought might be real just because how heavy it was, but oh no, we'll get it out of there. It's in there. So, but these reproduction banks, 
Put the pen in there. He drops it in there. Uncle Sam. But see that seam right there? A real one? That seam would be so tight. Because everything back then was made so well. So that would be the first thing. Also the paint. I mean as soon as I seen the paint you could just tell it's modern day paint. It doesn't look old at all. You know. And it's crudely painted. It's a nice piece. Probably sell 20, 30 bucks at auction. Maybe more. But I'm just excited. And it's filled with money. So. Who knows? At their second metal toy that we found. Ugh. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, this has a chip right there. Oh, right there. It's broken too. Yeah. And these guys, they wrapped everything. They took good care of stuff, but things are going to get broken. People moved it around. Oh, wow. This must go to that one piece. That glow bit we saw. Mm -hmm. So, who knows what else is in this box? But this is the fan room shelf box. You know, I just want to keep going through. I at least look at one more in here. Oh my gosh! Take a look at this. Marked on the bottom right there. You see this little bit of cracking like that? It's called crazing. That's how you know it's real old. This looks like an old ice bucket. Cool piece. Like I said, this whole thing is just loaded. Cool stuff. Chuck. What's up, Chuck? I like your stuff, buddy. So, man, we just keep finding stuff, finding stuff. Let me grab another box here. I'm gonna open a couple more. Oh. Oh, look at that. Got some old books right on top. We got Wizard of Oz. Baybar. Old kids' books, there's always worse than mine. And then who knows, looks like we might have some other old books in here. We just had a first edition of Bambi. We sold for over 300 bucks at auction. So you never know about old books. Letters of Marquet, Marquis. But right here you want to do... So this is, they put this in here because this is an ink plate. They actually printed this, stamped it right there, and they put that there for the ink one to bleed over when you close the book. And then we should have a copyright date. And this book is in horrible condition, ladies and gentlemen, so don't give me a hard time online. But right here, 1909, Enberg Society. And then up here, it says 1,000 impressions have been taken for this edition. So that's a good sign. But you see the book, the binding is gone on the book. But we'll have to take a look, look up the book. But there's other old books in here. You just never know about books. Most books don't have much value, but some books can be worth a lot of money. Especially if they're in good condition and if they have the original dust jacket. I think this keeps going. We're going to be here all day opening boxes. Let's see what this is real quick. This is the one that's taped up crazy. It says glass on there. Oh man, I'm not even going to try to open it, but it's another piece of glass that looks like a vase or something. There's a few of them in here. So, I mean, who knows? Let me keep going. We'll pick out some more stuff, see what else we can find for you guys. Man, we'll show you some more some stuff. Got some furniture out of the way. So let's take a look. And, uh, this says good china. So... The nice thing about this, everything was wrapped really nice. I don't know, these look like candles here. A bunch of little votive candles. Oh man, whatever this is, it's heavy. So it looks like it's a good china. It's wrapped inside a... Right here. I was going to say it's a gravy bowl or something.
Take a look right here. Made in Poland. So that's that thick gold stuff that we saw before. And this one has, there it is, like that. That's the pattern. This goes on top of this plate. There's a bowl. It goes on top of the plate. So that's probably worth some money. That is photo candles, regular candles. Who knows what else we're gonna find? Keep looking. Take a look at this box. Oh, oh wow. Oh, cool. Take a look at this. Old mantel clock right there. Just tell it's all old wood here. It's an electric one. So look how old that cord is. Probably 20s or 30s. Cool little mantel clock. Man. So who knows what else? Let's take a look at let's go look at this box here. Oh nice. Look at that old light fixture right there. And people are redoing houses around us. These are getting more and more popular. Oh no way. Take a look. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> the conquistador. Right there, Universal Statuary Corporation, 1967. Doesn't look broke or chip. What an interesting box, though. So. Oh, no way. Oh. Sessions clock right here. Another old electric clock. No, I mean, it goes from vintage toys to pottery to old clocks I mean there's no rhyme or reason they got a little bit of everything they said they were art and antique dealers and collectors so who knows that looks like all that's in the box but man once again if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for subscribe you never know when you're going to find a conquistador head or whatever else we're going to find old clocks vintage toys glass where pottery just goes on and on and on if you haven't checked out some of our other videos check them out tons of great videos out there don't forget, you can bid on all the stuff you see, www.secondsense.com. Once again, www.secondsense.com. Keep watching, keep looking. There's going to be more. we got all these boxes left to go, so definitely be another episode. Who knows how many more.